Good morning, live from New York. A rainy, rainy spring day here in New York. Soon it's going to be summertime, a couple more days, I guess. But it's uh, it's been rainy and a little cool here the last few days. But um, guys, today we want to do something a little different. Keep practicing the power moves that we know are mission critical. Mission critical to what we're doing here. You know, now we have we have designed an approach, right? So everybody knows the approach: box one, box two. Oh, and then when you get pushback, that's the time you implement your your power talk, right? When people give you pushback. Well, I'd love to talk, and we have it like this for practice purposes. So we know we kind of get a sense of a, a place that a power talk might fit, right? But here, here's the message, I think. Not I think, here's the message for today for me, right? Is this, why wait until you're getting pushed back on price to start to generate and cause your power to occur, right? The, the, the beauty of language, of energy, is that in any moment, any moment, you can invent something new for somebody else. That's power. When you can invent a new possibility that they see something and they go, wow, that's cool. That's power, right? And you allow them, you allow this this customer or your coworker or your, your wife or friend or whatever, and they go, wow, that's cool. Thank you. And they can take new action as a result because you've invented a new possibility. So what I don't want to wait I don't want to wait to start to generate power until we got price pushback or price issues like that. I want to start. I want to practice today. Randy's going to tell a really nice story. I want to practice generating power, real power, life-altering power to change the world right here in box one. In the, in the very first instance when you're talking with people. Right. So so what I observe, because we've been doing this now for a few years. Right. The illustrious Sean O'Brien in the house. I love it. Good job, Kenda, for rounding up Sean. I always love to see Sean. Um, if that is Sean, it could be somebody else from his company. Anyway, here's the point, guys. We've been doing this now for for. A long time right so so I can help you with that we know is the is the opening salvo in generating personal power I can help you what I want to do because that that's a declaration that leads to the time element a commitment is power okay uh, what I want to start doing I want to practice today is stringing together a few a couple of you know powerful declarations right up front so it might be go something like this I can help you with that. I can help you with your transmission work. You've called the right guy. Today's your lucky day. I'm going to get it done for you today. Boom. Something like that where you string them together a few in a row. I can help you with that. You've called the right guy. My job is to be your car guy. Boom, boom, boom. Right in a row. And it's also a personal commitment. It's not like we can do this or we can do that. It's about I. It's about me. Me making a personal commitment to take care of you, right? And have it alter your universe. So what I wanted, I want, Randy told a great story this morning, captivated all of us. So I'd like you just to jump into it, Randy, and tell that story this morning of what happened. I, I, and, then we'll, and then we'll practice. Yeah, go through it. Quick. I'll go through it as quick as I can, guys. We, yesterday afternoon, we have shared this story already three times, four, this be the fourth time this morning. Yesterday afternoon, uh, a guy called me about 2.30, and he said, uh, hey, listen, I, I, do y'all do air shocks on Lincoln Continentals? I said, absolutely, sir. I can help you with that. You called the right place. I'm the man to make that happen. I was on a roll. I was having a good day. Okay, and he said, really? I said, yes, sir. I love it. What what year model is it? He said, it's a 1992. Absolutely a wonderful car, sir. Love those old Lincolns like that. And, he, and I got him going really quick. I said, sir, you're in luck today. I can take care of that today. If you can get it down here in the next 15 minutes, I'll look at it. I'll give you some options. We'll go over them together. We'll figure out what we can do. And if everything works, we'll get it done today, sir. Out the door. He said, really? I'll be there in 15 minutes. So he came <laughs> in. I wasn't at the counter when he came in, but I recognized the car when I went by it. And I walked right straight in. He was talking to Billy. And I stuck my hand out, interrupted him and Billy. I said, sir, my name is Randy Kelly. I'm the one you talked to on the phone. And he said, 
whoa, this is the guy right here. This is a man right here. This is <laughs> right here. This guy right here. And, of course, all the guys in the, in the store were looking now. And I said, this man right here is, I'm going to tell you something. The reason I'm in here right now is the way you talk to me on the phone. So not only was that a great feeling, but at the same time, it was a great lesson for everybody listening, everybody that was involved. And it turned out that the guy spent over $700 with me in, in between uh, 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock. He'd spent over $700 with me. He'd gone to Pep Boys. Pep Boys had let him down. Um, he, and that's what he told me in the story. It, in other words, uh, it generated more work because now he's told me other things he wanted done. He ended up leaving the car. He paid his $800, uh, down and he said, I'm going to leave it. I want to get some more work done. Um, so the, and that, and that other, the additional work, the additional work was not part of the original conversation. That's correct. It was additional. So that's why I have on the screen here, I have the foundation for results. So you see this. This is why these models are so important. So you can listen to a story like that. You can dissect it here, right? You can look at it visually and say, all right, here's the guy that just left Pep Boys. He's got a sour taste in his mouth because his car really wasn't fixed. They put shocks, but they didn't fix the airbag situation. And his car was still dragging on the ground. OK, so he's like this. He gets with Randy. And Randy, in, in a few seconds, on the inbound call, he didn't wait. My point is, he didn't wait to generate his power. He he made commitment right up front, big, 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 bold commitment like this, and blew this thing out. How long did it take you, Randy, to blow it out like this? To, to when I say blow it out, I mean like two minutes to, to expand. This is the bottom box. Yeah, two, two minutes, minutes to expand the bottom box. Yeah. Boom. He blew it up, right, to the point where the guy saw it. Now, here's what's happening. When, when you're making these power moves that we're going to practice, I can help you. You're in the right place. Today's your lucky day. I'm the guy. When you're doing that, we got somebody with a lot of background noise. I'm See if you can figure out who it is. Sorry, that's me. <laughs> okay. It's Sean. Okay. All right. Okay, so, Sean. So, guys, here, when you're making these powerful declarations, you're opening possibilities right here in this box. When you open possibilities for people, they can take additional action. So Randy got the first job, right? Number one, the guy came in and he got $750 worth of work, 800 out the door, right? But he didn't leave. He got the second because Randy opened, opened the possibility for him to take more action, get his car, really get his car fixed, <laughs> get everything done. And so that my, my, what I want to practice today, and here's the other thing, for, for those of you that are relatively new on this thing, right, I want to go and I want to look real quick at uh, the, the purpose, the purpose of making declarations, which are the power moves I'm talking about right here is because declarations, if you, if you look at this and read this, a statement that designs the future states a new possibility. You have to state new possibilities for people then they know what to do. So Randy stated this new possibility for this guy in such a way that it, it blew his mind, changed his world, opened up possibilities for him to move, and he did, and he came in and he got, he did a bunch of work, and he, the car's still there, right? Correct. Car's still there. Get, <laughs> may not leave for a while. It's a 92. We had it ready. I mean, he, was, he could have drove it home. Fine, no problem. It was fixed and done, but he just said, no, I'm going to leave and get some more work done. Get more work. So, guys, so here, here's what I want to practice. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait until, you know, later in the conversation to, to I, this is what I want to practice. I want to practice today. We're just going to work in, in uh, box one, right? And when you, when you declare, I can help you with that, I want you to swing, uh, I want you to combine it with some other things. I can help you with that. You are in the right place. In fact, Today is your lucky day. I'm the make it happen man. I'm going to get it done for you. I'm the make it happen woman, whatever, whatever the case might be. But you see how I'm weaving these things together. This is a time in a conversation where you take a little, this little artistic break. And what I hear now, it's like, because we've been doing this for a few years, right? Thanks for calling XYZ. This is Dan. How can I help you? Well, I can help you with that. Who am I speaking with? You know, have you done so every we work the approach, but we, we're not talking about that today. We're talking about taking a time right here where you're going to hit, take out your Louisville Slugger, and you're going to alter the universe of this other person. That's really what we're talking about, changing the universe. 
And that's what, <laughs> that's what happened with this guy. You changed his life, really. Changed his life. So hey, let's you know go what? down. He, he changed ours, too. That's another way of looking at it. He actually literally changed our life, too, because here we are talking about him We're today. We're still talking about it. Yeah. yeah, but you, but here's the point. You generated the possibilities for this guy to move. You generated. You didn't wait for it to happen. You Correct. caused it to happen. That's power. When you cause things to happen, you can go like this through life. <laughs> same old, same old. Or in the moment, boom, you can say, time out. Let me tell you who I am in the matter. I'm the guy who's going to get it done for you today. Boom. And really deliver a knockout punch. And that's what I want to practice. So I want to go around the room. Uh, Brian, Brian, you ready? Let's start with Bobby White. We'll go right down the list. When you go in box one, all I want you to do is right here when you say, right when you say I can help you with that, I want you to string together a few other power moves right there at that instant. And what, let's watch what happens. We'll experiment. While, 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 while some of you are going, I want you to know also you can, you can look on the last page in the workbook because I've listed a few of them right here. I can help you with that. You're in the right place. I'm the guy. I am the make it happen man for you today. Your search has ended. You see, so if you just get used to weaving them together, it makes sense. It's coherent. And boom, it's designed to really deliver a knockout punch. So while, while some of you are going, others can be looking at what they might want to say. All right. Bobby, you ready, buddy? B ready Bobby, to go. Bob Bobby, you ready, buddy? All right. Bobby, buddy. Bob Bobby, buddy. All right. Go ahead, Brian. Ricky, Bobby, buddy. Ring-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Thank you for calling Same Day Auto Repair Your Tire Pros. This is Bobby. How can I help you? Hey, Bobby. How are you? My air conditioning is not blowing as cold as it used to. I'm hoping maybe you could just pour some of that special sauce on it and get it working for me. Well, sir, I could definitely help you with that. I want you to know you called the right place because I'm here to take care of you today. That's my mission. I want to make sure that I get this thing taken care of for you. Um, nice. Who am I speaking that's, with? That's that's all, Bobby. That's what I want to do. That was nice. Really nice, natural. Boom. That's what I'm looking for, guys. Very nice. Take that and put that on the court today. By not just that, but you, you can mix it up. But uh, stringing a few of them together is what I'm talking about. Okay. Nice. Very good. Very good. Let's go to, uh, is that you, Curtis, or is that somebody else? Who's down there from from Trick Trucks or uh, In and Out? Hola, calling Trick Trucks, calling Trick Trucks. Jose Gamboa, are you there, Jose? Yeah, I'm here. Here he is. Ready, buddy? There he is. Yeah. Go ahead, Brian. Ring a ling a ling. Thanks for calling Tarwell. This is Jose speaking. I'm gonna help you. Hey, Jose, you guys do brakes? I need front brakes on an F-150. Absolutely. I can help you with that. Your N has searched for this. I will help you with this. And who am I speaking All with? Right. <laughs> good. Um, good. That's it. That's good. Do it again. Let me hear it again because I, I couldn't hear the first thing. Do it, do it again, Jose. Ring-a-ling-a-ling. -a Thanks for calling the tire. Well, this is Jose speaking. Who can I help you? Hey, Jose, you guys do alignments? Absolutely, can help you with that. And who am I speaking with? Tommy. Tommy, you call the right place. I will help you with that today, and you will not have to take your vehicle to anywhere else. So I'll help you with this today, and we'll get it done. <laughs> That's good. Good. That's good. Practice that, Jose. Practice stringing them together. Read on pay on the last page in the workbook. Like I said, guys, practice weaving two, three, four of them together, and make up your own too. Right, I like what Jose what Jose said. You won't have to take your car anywhere else ever. Boom. Yeah, wait. In the beginning, he said your search has ended for this, and I thought that was good too. Right there, you go. Your search has ended for this. Today's your lucky day. Yeah. I am the make it happen man. And by the way, you know, so I love I am the make it happen man. That was that was given to me by a guy at Black's Tire down in the, in North Carolina, uh, JJ Pendarvis. I always give credit for people. I like that. I. Uh, he said, I make it happen, man, for you, Mr. Smith. <laughs> All right. It's beautiful. All right. Who else do we got? We got uh, Michael Agliata. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Go ahead, Brian. 
Cue the train. Ring a ling a ling. Thank you for calling Claremore Tower. This is Mike. How can I help you? Hey, Mike. How are you? I need to get a transmission flush. Yeah, I can definitely help you on that. Who am I speaking with? My name's John. John, you ever been here before? Mm, no, I Googled you. You Googled me? Well, that's awesome, John, because you definitely called the right place. Not only can I take care of your transmission flush, I can take care of all your fluid needs and any car service you need. I got some availability right now if you want to come on down. That's good. That's good. Michael, here's a coaching for you that I want to, I want to offer you. And this is, I've said this a couple of times, I think, to you. You build, I mean, this is, and there's nothing wrong with this. You build your energy as you go through. So you started, you started like here. And then as you go, you start to build it a little bit, which is nice. I want you to try something a little different. This is just a workout. I'm not saying to change what you're doing because it works for you, right? But what I want you to also experiment with bringing more, really jacking up your energy level right from the get-go when you pick up the phone. Thanks for calling Claremore Tire. We're having a party down here. Come on down. <laughs> you know, like that. J jack it up right from the get-go. So because what, what you do then, is you, will, you shock the system, the nervous system of the caller. This goes for everybody. You literally shock the nervous system of, of the people. They go, whoa. The, and, and then once they go, oh, well, what's going on here? Then you got them. Now there's an opening. When you just go, thanks for calling Claremore Tire, there's nothing happening. Did you see what I'm saying, Mike? Yes, sir. Yeah, so try it again and, and bring really stand up. If you're sitting down, stand up and jack up the energy level right for when, when you pick up the phone. You want to start delivering the knockout pump punches. They're going to come one right after the other for this customer, and they're not going to know what happened. Go ahead. Ring a ling a ling. Thank you for calling Claremore Towers. Mike, how can I help you? Hey, Mike, my air conditioner is blowing warm air. Can you uh, cool it down? I can definitely cool that down for you. Who am I speaking with? Tommy. Tommy, you ever been here before? Uh, no, just Googled you. Google me? Well, you definitely Googled and called the right place, man. I can definitely take care of your AC needs, and when it becomes wintertime, I can take care of your heater needs as well. I got some availability <laughs> right now if you want to come on down. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say if you want to come on down. I would say I got an availability right now at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, right? Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but that you got to give them that choice close. The th the thing about it is, is when you drive off into this and you get bobbed and bobbed in that really quickly, like sir, thank God for Google. You know what I'm trying to say? You you if you use those kind of nice. yeah, really and truly, uh, throw that in there. You know, like say, sir, I love to be Googled. I can't deny it. I got I'm a Google guy. You know, if you put those things in there, those those are relationship words that he's already told you what he's how he found you. And now you associate with that. No different than, hey, I love it. I've got a 92 model Lincoln Town Car. And you go, great car, sir. That's 92 Lincoln Town Car. They don't make them like that anymore. That's a classic car, sir. I'm excited about taking a look at it. I'm excited about working on it. Bring it down. So the more you get involved, and really and truly, you are a dancer. You're a presenter. So you have to present yourself the way you want to be seen. And it's at that point, if you want to be mundane and slow and and not excited, then that's the way you're going to be perceived. But if you seem really glad and happy, and, and, and what it does, it makes you happy and glad, too, to be able to be filled that way. So it makes yes. your day go better and have a better time with it. That's Michael, that was really good, really good effort that time, Michael, on the energy piece. That's what I want you to experiment with. You really, put to generate, yeah, put it out there right from the get-go, all right? Good work, buddy. Good okay. work. Let's go to uh, Randy, Mr. Randy Chernis. Chula Vista, California. You there, Randy? Oh, Randy's damn. tied up. Let's go to Mr. Sean O'Brien up there in uh, Kansas. You there, Sean? Bring a link. Yeah, it's Sean. He's there. All right, Brian, go <laughs> ahead. Let's let's see what Sean does. Box one, Sean. Ring a ling a ling. Ring a ling a ling. Thanks for calling Kansas Tire Company, home of the Carter Club. This is Sean. How can I help you? 
Hey, Sean, how are you? The last few days, my car's kind of been, it starts, but it like, it's a little slow to start. And I wanted to see if maybe you could check that out before uh, it doesn't start. You think you got any idea what might be going on with that? Yeah, I can definitely help that, help you with that. Who am I speaking with? My name's John. Nice to meet you, John. Again, like I said, my name's Sean. Have you ever been in with us before? Uh, no. Found you on the internet. All right. Well, oh, awesome. Well, you called the right place. Uh, we have payment plans starting at $40 with or without credit. And I can get you in uh, now or 2 o'clock. What would work best for you? Uh, I could come down right now. All right. Awesome. I can get you in. Let me go ahead and get a little bit of information from you. And I'll have you on our schedule. That way nobody takes your spot. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's good. Sean, good. That's good, buddy. Yeah, yeah, good. This is this is new new for Sean, working the approach. You start Sean, you're starting to see where we're going with this thing? Yeah, I see where you're going with it. And I mean my my generalized uh box one uh, I you know, I mean the greeting how can I help you? A lot of times I leave my name off though when I am talking because you know how many junk calls we get a day. Um, so sometimes I just leave my name off so I don't have to talk to telemarketers. But, yeah, for, but uh, so I, I don't want to caution you against that. Just a tad. No offense. Just caution you. I'm just, just coaching from me to you. Um, don't. Here's what happens. Brian is a testament to this. Brian listens to hundreds and hundreds of calls. He listens to all all calls that come in. But the reality is, is that Brian will be a testament. When you start trying to pick and choose who, what number represents a telemarketer call, what you're doing is at that particular point, you're losing out inside yourself. Why not take that telemarketer opportunity to show out, to become somebody you're not? When you And when they, and they call, you blow them out of the water, okay? Because you don't really care about them. But how about just throwing it out there for them? Hey, thank you for calling. Same day auto repair. This is Randy, the home of the telemarketers. Okay. <laughs> so what if you did that and, and, and expressed yourself? You see my point? Uh, and so yeah, well, I do. You, use it as a training. Use that. That's just like us calling you and going ring a ling a ling. That's just like us. So never pass up the opportunity to express yourself. And, and, and the more you do that, the more it becomes freedom. And the more fun you have with it, in reality, your customers respond very well. Who's to know that telemarketer may be right around the corner and they need your car fixed? I think I need to get some uh, more shots of espresso to match you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you do. That's what you got to do. Say, well, make up a name. Don't say it's Sean. Yeah. Say it's, you know, Steve. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, sometimes and, and, I'm John, sometimes I'm yeah. John. <laughs> And then if you find it out it's someone you know, you say, hey, I was just messing with you, it's Sean. You know, I see my guys pick up phone, oh, it's a telemarketer. Boom, hang it up. You know, have fun with it. You know, and because that is a time that you can, maybe that's what you need to get the next call going, is that little bit of excitement mm -hmm. of, of being able to have fun with a telemarketer. Sean, okay. good work, buddy. Good work. Good so so the, the, the game... The game, Sean, ultimately is to build a foundation for communication inside your company. Box one, box two, box one, box two. And then by doing that, you're becoming a commitment-based organization. And and the game in life, the game in business, everywhere is commitment. You put you make mm -hmm. a commitment, you put you make a personal commitment to everybody that's calling in. That's what we're doing here. I can help you with that, Sean. I'm the guy, I'm an expert at those kind of repairs. Not only that, I have an ASC certified tech, so you have called the right place, my friend. I want to see you down here. And you work the approach beautifully, right? And my, my, my intent for you, my hope for you, is that you, you get fired up like Randy is, you know, and, and it, it alters the landscape inside companies. Because when, when you have a company, you got employees, right? There's no standards. When you have, I had a company with a thousand employees. There were no standards. People people came to do the very best, but everybody had a different way of communicating. <laughs> it was like the Tower of Babel. Think about it: 104 <laughs> stores with you know with a thousand employees, and everybody just doing whatever you know, whatever whatever words came out of their mouth. Boom, that was it. And there was no approach. So we're teaching an approach here. 
Make a commitment. That's the game. That is the game. Make Build trust. Make a commitment right up front. And the best way to do that right here is I can help you with that. You are in the right place. You made a wise choice calling me because I am an expert at those types of repairs. Boom. Case closed. I want to see you down here. And then you take a cut at the ball. You know, if you if you guys get up at bat, right, and you all you're doing is giving out pricing information, it's like getting up and bat at a baseball game with a toothpick. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the generalization for uh, phone quoters, I mean, or for phone quotes sucks. I mean, all they're doing <laughs> is calling 10 different ten different places to get a price, and the exactly. best one with the best price is going to win. And, not, you know, necessarily. That, not necessarily. I don't. I not necessarily, Sean. I, I people people ask for price, but what they're listening for is commitment. When they hear commitment, they go, "Oh, that's what I'm looking for." And then it, with the commitment, you give them a decent price, or you tell them about your pricing policy, or whatever, you know, a range or something. But I'm telling you, what people are listening for is commitment because it's a biological need. We have a biological need for committed relationships. Why? To survive. And when somebody has a check engine light that's on or the brakes aren't working or the car's not starting or whatever it is, their survival's at mm -hmm. stake. They don't care about price, really. That's secondary. But they got it. They got to stay on the road is what the game is. When it comes down, Sean, and it gets down to the point to where you can express yourself, you've got them coming in the door. And when you get a chance, an opportunity to actually say things like, sir, I got to be honest with you. I really appreciate your business, but this is not just about a brake job to me. It's not just about an oil change. It's not about a headlight or anything else. This is about me and you becoming friends for life. I want to become your car guy for life. That's it. That's my mission. That's my goal. That's all I'm asking for. Give me the opportunity. I won't let you down. I'll take great care of you. You come see me every time you need anything. You call me anytime you have a question about the car. I will be there to answer your. That's when you get to where you can do that with it, strangers you've never seen before. You are on the road to mastering, mastering. The language of commitment. Yeah, and your okay. and your your sale. This goes for everybody, not just Sean. I appreciate I'm having this discussion with Sean because he's relatively new. But when you master the language of commitment, your sales are going to skyrocket, as evidenced by by Randy and his company. Twenty two percent, twenty percent, another twenty yep. percent. No, one store, one of the stores, one of the stores last month was up thirty eight percent. That was on top of a twenty percent. And on top of a 20% of two previous years, this is not, and, and without any increase in advertising expenditure, it's Correct. not about that. Not about that. And and the other benefit is that becoming a commitment-based organization, the word got out in the community. They now have a waiting list of people that want to come work there. They're not looking for people. People know that there's something going on at same day. They're searching it out and they want to come work there. It's crazy. That's all people want. Human beings are the same. I mean, it's like the regular customers. Everybody wants to be part of a team, a company, a hunting party. But guys, great call. Thank you, Sean, for allowing me to work with you like this. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, Sean. No really problem. Good. Not yeah. a problem. Thank you Who for else? beating me up. I appreciate it. We love it. We love beating you up. We <laughs> coaching, coaching is not beating up. <laughs> oh, coaching, sorry. We, yeah. that's yeah. A, that's a, that, that is, uh, what do they call that? Uh, politically correct or whatever they call it. You know, we're, we're coaching you. We're not beating you up. Listen, you uh, know what? You know, it's, you know, it's funny because I've been studying this stuff for 40 years, right? I'm a, I'm a singer, right? And, and I have a vocal, co I've worked with like four or five vocal coaches. Over, I have a new one. And I meet with her tomorrow. I'll meet with her for an hour, right? I do it online like this. So she's there and I'm here and we're working out. And she has me so befuddled and she's teaching me stuff that I never thought about before. So it's like I get, I'm like a learner. I'm a beginner and a learner in the same space that you guys are at, some of you, about language and communication. The same thing. And I have to struggle with it. And then I, then I call her back a week later. And I go, oh, I really understand now. It's, <laughs> I got what you're trying to tell me. You know, and so I, so you get excited about it. At first, I'm depressed about it, and then I get excited about it later. It happens. It's funny, yeah. Funny guys. Anyway, really great call. Good call. Fabulous, fabulous group. Thank you, guys. Let me ask you a question, Bobby. Bobby Treywick, are you there? You have your mic on. He's supposed to call in. Bobby was supposed to call in on the, on the phone, Dan. He may, he may have himself muted, but. 
Bobby, are you there? This is Bobby Trawick. I don't know Bobby Trawick. Bobby's my new mom. My, my new Bobby. I'm, we're here to. We're... Oh, that's your new Bobby. All right. Okay. Good. 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 All right. Fabulous. I get him back in on the call and he can participate some. Good. All right. Okay. Great. Okay. Thanks, guys. Peace. Have a great week. Thanks, guys. Bye now. Dan. Yes. Somebody said, somebody said goodbye. I don't know who it was, Dan. Thank you, Dan. We'll see you in a minute.